The 7 Star Terror Raid event for Dragonite is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we're going to go through one of the best solo builds for you to take this on and beat this in your game. So running from the 23rd of August and right through till the 1st of September, we're going to see the 7 Star Terror Raid for Dragonite come to our games. Now, if you want all the details of the raid itself, how it interacts and all of the other details going into this raid, check out our previous video going over another build for Corviknight that was very successful and a very convenient way to go through and beat Dragonite over this period when it's running. But of course, in today's video, we do have an alternative build that we're going to go through. So we'll jump over and show you exactly how easy it can be to put together in your game and run through this event while it is live. So the build that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be for Orthworm. It is a steel type, going to resist the majority of moves that are coming out from the Dragonite. It is going to have a fighting terror type with the held item of a Shell Bell. Make sure that it is level 100 and it is hyper trained. So all those IVs are set to 31. For the move set, very straightforward. Going to be three moves only. Iron Defense, Mud Slap and Body Press. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP and in that defense stat with an impish nature and the remaining EVs put into special defense. So to EV train it, you're going to need 25 HP ups with two health feathers, 25 iron and two resist feathers. And the remainder is going to be one zinc or either four clever feathers. So the main thing for this Orthworm is going to be the ability Earth Eater. That's going to mean that you have an immunity to ground type attacks like the earthquake coming out from the dragonite and you're actually going to receive health when it does attack you with that move but that's the earthworm it should look like this when you've got it trained up we'll jump into the raid now and i'll show you how quick it can be to run through with this pokemon so when you first come into the raid against the seven star dragonite you are going to see a turn zero play out it is going to fire off a rain dance it's going to set the rain up on the field for five turns and after that, it is going to fire off a hurricane. That's going to be into any one of the four targets on our side of the field. So it can be into us, but it could be into one of our partnering Pokemon. If it's not into us, of course, that is a bit of a bonus. It just makes the raid a little bit easier, but it's not a massive detriment to us if we do see the hurricane fired into our slot. See, it's into the Taurus, takes it down there. First turn, we're going to lock in with Mud Slap. That's going to be very lot power move but it is going to reduce the accuracy on the dragonite and the main reason for us using this move is the accuracy being lowered is a bonus of course but it is getting us closer to our terrestrialization and to the point where we can see the stats and abilities nullified on our side of the field from that dragonite which is the main thing that we're looking for and once that happens we're going to be able to start setting up those iron defenses boosting our defense two plus six after three of them and then our body press is going to be maxed out Hitting as hard as possible so we're just going to fire off mud slap once again this will be our third one we'll see the dragonite go for things like dragon dance and other options like extreme speed earthquake if it goes for that of course it will activate our earth eater ability and we will have health recovered rather than health taken away from us thunder again comes out from the dragonite uh, and it can be into any one of the four targets on the field and after we've used three mud slap you can see that we can terrestrialize but we're just going to lock in with a body press here just to get some additional damage off. Now, we'll go for scale shot as well throughout the raid setup. Goes for it, it can lower its defense. That can help you out after the scale shots have been fired off. Any sort of status condition to the Dragonite as well is super helpful throughout this raid because it is going to mean that it isn't going to be hitting as hard or it's either paralyzed, it's not going to be hitting us at all. We're just waiting, like I say, for that shield to be set up or it to nullify the stat boosts or drops on our side of the field. And after that point, we're free to go for those iron defenses. So we're pretty fortunate with the status conditions that we're seeing here. On the Dragonite, you see that defense being lowered. And this will help us out just to get to the point where we can start setting up those iron defenses. So there's the body press there. It should take the Dragonite below the remit for where it is going to nullify and set up its shield as well. And if uh, we are going to see that here, nullifying changes on our side of the field. So that's the sign that we need. Not going to terrestrialize yet of course because we have that resistance to the dragon we have the resistance to the normal type attacks but we are going to just set up our iron defenses and you can see that accuracy drop coming in pretty clutch here where it does miss the attack onto the earthworm and there's the shield set up so that's super fine at this stage we are just chasing down to the point where we can terrestrialize that is all we're looking at after we've got plus six defense from three iron defenses you see the extreme speed firing off here 
it's going to do a little bit of damage but uh, it's going to be reduced every time we are able to set these iron defenses up to a plus six so we're not in any worries now and as soon as we're ready as soon as we set up we can launch off that terrestrialization maximize our damage and throughout this process you will some point see the dragon knight remove any uh, detrimental stats on its side of the field reset those so its accuracy is 100 percent now scale shot is going to be a blessing in disguise for us because the fact that it does hit us from three to five times is fine it will boost its speed but it will also lower its defense at the same time so making our body presses even stronger so if you see skill shot throughout the raid it is going to make it a lot quicker in the end game so that is our third iron defense i believe or it might be a second one we can check our pokemon status just by hitting the y button and then clicking our pokemon it is plus six so we're ready to terrestrialize at this stage Hit that body press and we can start cutting through and the rest of the raids really straightforward Dragonite is going to fire out a flurry of attacks that it's got access to, but we're pretty much just going to be hitting that body press button and this is all you're going to be doing. It's a very consistent, straight forward, easy way to beat the Dragonite if you're wanting to farm for Herba Mystica while the event's running, of course, until the 1st of September. Um, and it's a different option outside the Orthworm as well. You can see we've taken a little bit of damage uh, for our troubles during this initial stage of the raid. And like I say, it's just that first bit of the raid it is the slow part and you can see the difference that the skill shot makes that lower defense stat on the dragonite really does make this very very quick to run through so skill shot once or twice it's going to speed things up for you once you do get set up and there's no trouble you're going to have a consistent way to set up every time in this raid and like i say it's very straightforward very easy so it was why i wanted to feature the orthworm i think it's something that could be very useful especially if you are wanting to farm herma mystica over the weekend remember though the inner focus on the Dragonite does give it immunity to Intimidate, so it will be able to kind of get around the Intimidate cycling from things like Taurus and, and Pokemon like that that you might think would be beneficial in this raid. Things that are going to be beneficial are going to be things like Drift Blim, Dunsparce, Belly Ball, that can paralyze, can status condition burn the opposing Dragonite, but that is as straightforward as it gets, I think, for this Dragonite. Like I say, if it uses more scale shots throughout the raid, then it will be a lot easier. And of course, you're going to get nice drops. There's the Herba Mystica drops for this one. And if you want to respawn the den, you're only going to get one of these seven star raids appearing on your map at a time. So you can use a date exploit to get another raid den straight up if you want to farm for Herba Mystica. So once you got your map open, hit your home menu, come down into your system settings, then down into system and find date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off. Go into date and time options. I'll go through these. Don't change anything okay come back into your game and the dens will respawn and you'll be able to easily find the next seven star terror raid event head over to it and then take it on if you've enjoyed today's video found the build useful please drop a like on the video it really helps out do share it around in the community as well to help others that are maybe struggling with this raid or want to farm for herba mystica fast over this weekend we be fun to be this video useful friends thank you so much for tuning in if you've got your own builds do share them down in the comment section below it'd be great to see what you've been having success with over this weekend thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day until next time take care and bye bye